This area shows how many controllers are linked with the power supply. Make a quick selection. The selected fan's red light will come on. We can see this controller has 5 channels. Drag and drop the fan icon on the right side to match it up. Click Done to go on to the next section. Double click the profile to enlarge the fan you are going to edit. You'll see 54 LED blocks that can be edited around 4 rings. You can choose your favorite color in the color palette zone on the right of the Neon Maker window, or by using the scroll bar to adjust the color codes. And click on the plus sign to create a new color profile, or drag the color to the trash bin to delete it if you don't like it. Neon Maker provides a selection of 12 basic colors to choose from. Single click or to hold on to the left button to fill in the fan profile or do you select all to fill in all fan profiles. There are six preset effects to access, which are Wave, Pulse, Tempo 1, Tempo 2, Motion, and Head Up. There are three ring quad fans on the editing area. Choose Wave for the first, Pulse for the second, and Head Up for the third. Click play to run effects. There are six functions. Select the fan and choose the color you would like to fill into a selected block. Then click clockwise. The light will rotate clockwise. So now we can try counterclockwise. Choose another color to fill in a block. Click on counterclockwise. The color will go counterclockwise. Now, let's see rotate. Select yellow and click rotate plus. The LED will go from the outer ring to the inner ring. If you click on rotate minus, the color will go from the inner ring to the outer ring. Click play to see the variation of LED alongside the rings. When using the gradual function, click the fan you want to edit. And on the timeline, you can add the colors you want by clicking the color palette on the right bar. The color block should appear on the timeline. To set them, click the color bar and then click on gradual. You can also select all the blocks at once by dragging your mouse. Press play to see your effects. About Add Object Function Click a fan to enlarge the fan Choose one color to fill in one of the blocks When the Add Object is on, you can add any functions on the timeline When the Add Object is off, the timeline of the third fan will be locked And it can't be added with any new objects the functions can only be switched within the existed objects. To change size of the blocks on the timeline, you can click the drop-down menu on the bottom left and edit the size of the blocks. The blocks can be dragged freely. Press Ctrl-C to copy the object. And if you want to delete the object, click on Delete. You can also zoom in and zoom out of the timeline by using your mouse wheel to scroll up and down. If you want to reset your controller, click the return button. To open a previously saved file, click open to search for a previously saved file. To save your current file, click save. To learn more about hotkeys, click the help button. Now, 
we're going to show you how to edit aqua effects on Neil Maker. 